I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. This has been a long time in the making, and I'm glad that the guys at Jungle, um, you know, came through on this. So hopefully this will be the first of many times. I was supposed to work with a different promoter, and I was kind of on hold for a while, so I couldn't contact any of the other clubs, and then that wound up not working out. So uh, I got in touch with, you know, Mike and Tommy from Jungle, and, you know, they booked their calendar way in advance, and it was kind of like, well, we got to see where we could fit you in. And, you know, so it, it took a long time. Um, but I, I think it'll be worth it because there's um, a lot of positive energy around this weekend, so I'm looking forward to it. They can expect uh, a lot of energy. Um, they can expect um, some great vocals. Um, later at night, we'll get a little harder. Um, I know the late night crowd in Atlanta really likes to kind of go hard, um, so I'm going to give them that. And um, we can also expect uh, a little Whitney tribute, too. No, last weekend was actually my birthday, so um, I had the weekend off because I wanted to spend it, you know, with my friends and everything. And uh, I was actually, I had, um, uh, my boyfriend and I had had a party at our house for my birthday on Friday night, and um, we were just sitting down to eat dinner. We had like, you know, 20 people at the house and a bunch of little kids, and um, my brother texted me and said, did you hear Whitney died? And that kind of just, you know, put a whole damper on the night, you know, because, uh, you know, it was sad. I think that most guys who go to clubs um, are very familiar with her music. You know, Whitney's always been a big staple of, you know, the circuit scene and gay clubs and straight clubs too. I mean, you know, her, her, her dance music is kind of universal. So, um, you know, there's a great catalog of music to choose from. And um, I'm also working on uh, a remix of my own for one of her older tracks. I'm not going to say which one, but it'll be ready for first Saturday. Okay. And it's not I Want to Dance with Somebody because that one's been done to death. Oh, Madonna? Always. Yeah. I mean, Madonna, and I mean, to be honest, listen, I mean, I've been into dance music since I'm really, really, really little. In fact, if you go to my Facebook page, I changed my default picture to a picture of me on a, a Christmas of 1987. So I was six years old. And it's me holding up Whitney uh, vinyl, you know, 12-inch records. <laughs> so, you know, Whitney and Madonna have really been with me for a long time. So, you know, all these years later, they, they always still find their ways into my set. And, well, and the boys always appreciate it, you know? Right. Well, you know, I mean, any good DJ will tell you that, you know, you have to know how to read the crowd. And, um, you know, usually for me, um, the night will start off a little lighter, uh, you know, more familiar vocals. Um, you know, I'm always of the, the idea that you don't want to hit the crowd over the head at 11 o'clock at night by playing, you know, really hard kind of tribal non-vocal stuff. Um, so, you know, you kind of start out light and you ease them into it. And once you get a packed dance floor, you know, you basically let the crowd control where you go. Um, you know, you, you read the crowd and um, you figure out where they want to go and you take them there. You know what? It, it's really unfortunate because um, I have a family event on Sunday. So I'm actually taking a 5.40 a.m. flight out of it. <laughs> And, you know, I've been talking, you know, on Facebook, I, you know, a lot of, um, I have a lot of Facebook friends who are from Atlanta who are, you know, they're so excited that I'm coming and they're like, you know, I've been getting all, you know, messages and emails, you know, you know, let's have brunch on Sunday, you know, we'll take you out to after hours. Or, and I'm like, I have to go straight to the airport after the gig is over. You know, what I mean? but you know what? I, but you know, it's like, I tell everybody, I say, listen, if the night goes well, you know, hopefully they'll have me back. Hopefully this will be the first of many times I come to Atlanta, and I promise that next time I come, I'll make a whole weekend out of it. You know, I have been to Waffle House. I have, have been to. I, I when I was growing up, we um, my family we used to drive from New York down to uh, Orlando every year to go to Disney World. So you know, I ninety five straight down. Once you hit like I would say like the Virginia border, it's like Waffle Houses every twenty feet. And I used to tell my parents like I want to go there, I want to go there, and they would never stop to go to the Waffle House because they're like, no, it doesn't, it, no, it, it doesn't look good. We'll go to Friendlies, we'll go to you know whatever. And it wasn't until I was much older and I went down to to Myrtle Beach with my friends that I finally got Waffle House. You know, it's my first time, and I really look forward to uh, to turning it out for you boys. And um, you know, I hope that you all come out. And uh, it's a Mardi Gras party, so uh, Tommy and Mike from Jungle. Um, I know Tommy had told me that he drove all the way to New Orleans to get um, all the decor and swag for the party. Um, which I said, you know, don't you have Party City in Atlanta? And he said, no, it has to be authentic. So I drove all the way to New Orleans. So uh, you know, it's going to be a fun party, and um, you know. Uh, if you want, you could find me on Facebook, um, DJ James Anthony on Facebook, and um, my podcasts are all up on my Facebook page. You know, if you want to give a listen, and uh, you know, check me out ahead of time. But uh, I, I really hope everybody comes at it. It's going to be a really fun time.